These are the top 10 isms to shift your thinking. The first one that I put down here, well, there's an introduction that really says, by virtue of changing our thoughts, we can change our feelings. And that sometimes the simpler the better. So what that brings me to is actually our first ism. The first ism is thinking as a chiropractic adjustment for the soul. And what I mean by that is it's like dominoes. When you shift your thinking, you're going to change your emotions. And when you change your emotions, you will change your behavior. What this is based upon, of course, is that in mystical thought, your ideas, your thoughts, your consciousness is like a parent. So the parent is right and left brain, different kinds of thoughts. And with that, you create a baby, and the baby is your heart center, whatever happens at the heart center. So if you feel, and when, we, when we speak about inner parenting or one's inner child at a certain level, that is your inner child. And a lot of compassion can happen when you can separate yourself, your awareness, your consciousness from your heart center and just look after those feelings. You don't have to condone them. You just have to be there in a way that is supportive, not necessarily reactive, not even judgmental. It's just creating a holding space for the heart center. And then once you've done that, there are many ways that we can adapt and take care of ourselves. I'm certainly not saying you're in a non-judgmental space and therefore anything goes. No, but right at the beginning, we have to parent our heart center. When we do that, we separate from the stress and the trauma. We also have the ability to create feelings. So the nature of a part of us, the divine part of us, is that through thinking we're going to give birth to feelings. And then our feelings actually give birth to behavior to actions. So you can think of your awareness as parents, mother and father, and your feelings as the child. And then the grandchild is your behavior, your actions. What's happening in your life at a basic level is the grandchild of your conscious awareness. Really useful to bear that in mind. Of course, there's the, there's the grandparent, and that is the faculty of faith. So just begin to think, and I'll take questions on this at the end, uh, wherever it's relevant, but thinking is a chiropractic adjustment for the soul. You're going to be shifting your whole self by changing your thoughts. And one of our isms is mind your mind or mine your mind. There's much that you can pull out from your mind, but you also have to watch your mind. And there are many tools that we can use to do that. But the entry portal is simply knowing that my thoughts are super powerful and they are going to shift me. One of the meanings of the word Kabbalah is not just from the word Lakabel to receive, but also Lakabil to align, to make one thing parallel the other because in the Garden of Eden our thoughts or our soul rather let's say went out of spiritual alignment we went out of alignment it's like the world slipped a cosmic di disc and all of exile is about getting ourselves back into alignment that happens at the level of the individual happens at the level of families communities countries and globally